Hi, I'm Chris. I'm down at the bike shed today with my Triumph Thunderbird frame bobber. This bike came to me as a bobber, but it's been totally rebuilt. Um, it looks similar to how I first saw it, but actually um, the frame's been straightened. Um, it's been gone through with like a fine tooth comb to make sure that the bike runs right and it's as safe as a motorbike can be. Um, but it's a real pleasure to ride and that's what I always wanted. That's what I wanted to achieve. It catches people's eye everywhere we go. She's a really pretty machine. I've actually gone to some bike events whereby I've turned up with very pretty ladies, but this bike, she's stolen the show. When I got hold of the bike, it was a good bike, but I knew it could be better. And what I really wanted to build was a bike that you could just ride anywhere. And testament to that, today I've just ridden up from Poole in Dorset. The journey took about five hours, not because of the bike, but just because the traffic was so awful and I had to go all, all around the houses. But it didn't miss a beat. So all the time and effort and people that have helped me with this bike have finally allowed me to get it to where I need it to be. There's a lot of unique pieces on the bike, a lot of collectible pieces and fabricated pieces. So let me take you around the bike and show you what it's made of. So starting at the front end, it's predominantly uh, Triumph T120. The main benefit of that is the brakes actually stop you, which if you've ever ridden an old bike, you'll know that that's a major benefit. Going up to the top of the forks, I've tried to keep everything as clean as possible, so minimal switch gear. And then down to a classic or sour peanut sort of style tank. The heart of the bike is this T110 Tiger unit. And uh, I had some pipes made up that sweep along the lines of the bike real nice that uh, run past the big bearing bottom end and this pre-unit gearbox to these period piece cocktail shakers. There's little details on the bike such as this nice brass kicker and a brass fuel tap on the other side as well as these uh, stainless steel battery boxes and oil tank. Um, those were all made by the guys at MSR Engineering down in Cornwall. They did a fantastic job and they also straightened up the frame for me. The speedo is mounted here, uh, which might seem a little bit strange, but what it does is it really cleans up the lines on the bars, which is brilliant on a bike, bike like this, which you want to look really simple. I've actually got quite a comfortable seat. It's sprung, and surprisingly for a hardtail, I've not broken my back or injured myself in any way going down the roads. The frame has all been straightened up, it's as straight as an arrow now, thanks to the guys at MSR Engineering, and uh, we've mounted a lot skinnier tire and wheel combo at the back with a classic cut-off fender. And um, one of the, my favorite little details is this is Model A stoplight at the back. Everybody always comments on it. Um, it's just a nice little touch. And that was with the bike when I first got it. So. Um, yeah, all in all, very nice bike, but let's start her up. I hope you like the bike. Uh, don't forget to watch and subscribe to the Bike Shed YouTube channel and turn on your alerts and uh, share the videos.